Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now comes the question, are there beings other than human beings in the universe? Or even beyond the universe, in one of the seven skies? Are there beings between the two skies? Are there universes like ours between, between each and every one of the skies? We will be looking at these questions in the next few lectures. Today I want to bring to your attention a couple of ayahs from the Quran that will be our main course of discussion for the next few parts. First ayah that I want you to pay attention to is Surah Ash-Shura, Surah Ash-Shura, which is Surah number 42 of the Quran, ayah number 29. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ And among the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is خَلْقُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The creation of the skies, all seven skies and ard which is all surfaces, not just the planet earth because planet earth in particular would be called dunya so the word earth, ard is implied on any planet, any star, all planets, all stars, all satellites, anything and everything that has a surface. So, al ard, خلق السماوات والأرض وما بث فيهما من داب and all living beings and all living beings. So when he's talking about seven heavens and all planets and uses the word all beings. He dispersed throughout both, that means all of his creations that he has created in the heavens and in all the planets together. He didn't in particularly limit it to jinns, angels, and humans. Those are the ones that we know of. And animals and insects and birds and fishes. These are some of them that we know of, but that doesn't mean these are the only ones. And he is most capable of bringing all of them together whenever he wills. So this one particular ayah from Surah Ashura, ayah of 29, talks about the existence of Dab, living beings, other places other than on the planet Earth, which is called Dunya. And it also implies the existence of beings in between the different heavens, between the two skies. As we know that this whole universe is under the first heaven, the first sky. The first sky is the rooftop of this entire universe. The second sky is the rooftop of the first sky. And third sky is the rooftop of the second sky. And what is between each two skies? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. But here it says that whatever is in between and whatever is inclusive there are beings there. There are dabbas there. Now some mufassirin, some um, scholars are of the view that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about several different things in this particular ayah. So this is inclusive of uh, that here on the planet earth in particular you have bodies. But out there in the world of souls, there are souls. So it is implied on souls as that out there connected with the bodies here. Similarly, we have barzakh in which the soul and bodies are connected. From the world of souls, you come here to the, this planet. Uh, the soul is poured into the body. And then when you leave from here, your soul goes into barzakh, your body gets buried into the ground. There's a connection between the soul and the body. So it's inclusive of, inclusive of the world of souls, world of barzakh, uh, this world of dunya, and other beings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created and spread. For example, yajuj and majuj, for example, the jal. They are in existence, but not open to your eyes. And, and some of the beings that we have talked about in our uh, previous lectures, like Mansik and Nasik, and some of those other beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows where they are. But we know from these narrations that I discussed with you last time, that Allah created them. And also, if you look at, because the, the next question that comes is that, okay, if these beings exist, now... Um, are they kind of a beings where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them sharia? Um, are prophets sent to um, other beings other than the human beings that we don't know of? So if you look at Surah At-Talaq, 
which is surah number 65 of the Quran and look at ayah number 12 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Allahu alladhi khalaqa sab'a samawat Allah is the one who created the seven skies the sab'a samawat wa min al-ardi mithlahun and he created ard ard in the same quantity as there are heavens so if there are seven heavens there are seven earths or seven systems of life very similar to the one that's been given to you and those seven systems of life we only know one of them which is our dunya and look at the next part of this ayah yatanazzalu al-amru baynahum and the divine command descends between them so it's not like only your planet earth is where uh, the rules descend but also in the other earths rules descend and the rules descend on when there are the mukallaf beings the beings that are answerable accountable for their deeds so our prophets also send to those again as i told you that we will be talking about this particular topic in more than one lectures today is just the first part the beginning one so i am just putting some questions out there in front of you that we will inshallah discuss in the coming one uh, lectures and Allah says, يَتَنَزَّلُ الْأَمْرُ بَيْنَهُمْ And the dis- divine commands descends between them. لِتَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ So you may know that Allah is most capable of everything. وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ أَحَاطَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عِلْمًا And that Allah certainly, certainly, certainly encompasses all things in his knowledge everything is in his knowledge do not ever uh, think about it if you run into something that you don't know you don't know do not start automatically implying that oh does god knows about it you know there are there are certain disbelievers like that they are questioning god they because they question his existence and they constantly ask questions like, why didn't God mention this in the Quran? Why didn't God mention this in the holy books and this and that? They're constantly bringing these questions. There are many things that exist and are not being mentioned. But that doesn't mean they don't exist. Did God mention each and every plant that grows in Arabian Peninsula in his books? No. Even though it was in the Arabian Peninsula. So the idea is... To just sometimes things are generally defined because Quran is not an encyclopedia. It is a book of guidance. You have been given parameters which are inclusive, generalized parameters, which is inclusive of many things. For example, this particular ayah, for example, has been the matter of debate between the scholars for a very long time. And that's exactly why I want to talk about this particular ayah in in a lot more detail, Surah At-Talaq, ayah number 12. And if you looked at Abd ibn Humayd ibn Jarir and ibn Munzar, they bring one of the um, statements of Mujahid rahimahullah, who is uh, from the students of Abdullah ibn Abbas about Surah Ash-Shura, ayah number 29, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the word Dabbah, which is living beings, he is of the view, Mujahid rahimahullah is of the view that here it means angels it means humans and any other being allah knows the best as also mentioned in tafsir al-tabri under this ayah in volume number 25 page number 39 and also imam suyuti mentioned this is in al-durrul manthur which is imam suyuti's work of tafsir so that's why some ulama are of the view that here the word living outside of this planet will uh, be implied to angels but that's again you know that's a viewpoint of some of the mufassirin uh, that's because the quran doesn't specifically says it means angels alone allah knows best however the ayah is open to interpretation so the ayah that i mentioned to you from surah at talaq ayah number 12 that's where we first get to learn about that just like there are seven heavens or seven skies there are seven earths and in uh, Tafsir al-Kabir by Imam Razi, he mentions that the seven skies have been created with seven different materials. However, 
other scholars have said that since ard, all of them have been created with similar material, that's why the plural and singular, we use the word ard. But for the sky, since each one of them has been created from different materials, that is why a plural word is used be to mention um, uh, the plural of sky, which is skies, which is samawat, as opposed to for ard, a singularity is mentioned. And again, if you're interested in knowing what are the different materials from which, uh, from where all of the seven heavens are created, let me know and, you know, we can uh, try to bring that to your knowledge as well. But that's what the viewpoint that has been brought by the Mufassirun inclusive of Imam Razi in Tafsir al-Kabir, volume number 10. And that's why Qadi Baydavi Shafi'i, uh, who passed away in the year 685 Hijri, he also writes in his famous work of tafsir that here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that there are seven earths or seven um, planets like earth just like there are seven heavens or seven dwellable places just like there are seven heavens. And if you look at the work of Allama Ahmad bin Muhammad Khafaji who passed away in 1069 Hijri um, he says that uh, the earth or, or um, the planet or the surface uh, also are divided into seven levels, just like there are seven levels of sky. And we only know of one of those seven levels where we dwell. And Khalid bin Walid radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates this from Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make a dua Allahumma rabbu samawati sab'i Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the, the Lord the, the, the God of all the seven heavens and wama adhallat wa rabbul ardayni wama aqallat and the rabb of all the seven um, lands and this is reported by Sunan al-Tirmizi hadith uh, 3523 and also in Al Mu'jam Al Awsat, Hadith uh, 1046, and also uh, Ibn Adi reports it in Al Kamil. Similarly, if you look at the work of Allama Abu Hayyan Muhammad bin Yusuf Andalusi, who passed away in 754 Hijra. Um, by Hijra, I mean like those many number of years that have passed since Prophet's migration to Medina. Uh, the Hijra year, the Islamic calendar. So 754th year of the Islamic calendar year is when he passed away. Uh, who? Allama Abu Hayyan Muhammad bin Yusuf Andalusi in his work Al-Bahr Al-Muhiyyat, volume number 10, page number 205, he mentions that Jamhur are of this view that um, there are seven heavens, just like there are seven earths, and that's also based on the work uh, of uh, Hadith, that uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that anybody uh, who takes away even a small parcel of land with injustice, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will punish him by putting a lock around his neck of seven um, uh, earths. And in the same book, Al-Bahr Al-Muhiyyat, Allama Andalusi brings uh, this also that um, there is one, he said, a qawl where um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created uh, creations between each and every level of sky and in, in each and every earth. I know you probably may still have a lot of questions which are unanswered. But as I told you, this is only the first lecture out of the series of lectures we want to uh, present to you in this regard. Inshallah, we'll cover more details next time. Till then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.